Hey guys, this is Derek from ModernCastle.com. Today, we'll be doing a vacuum battle comparison. We'll be comparing the Dyson V10 versus the Dyson V11. Both of these cordless stick vacuums have a ton of suction power, run for up to an hour, and have lots of accessories. But is the V11 worth the extra cost over the V10? Let's go ahead and find out now. As always, we're going to be covering a lot in today's video. We're bringing up the time codes now if you want to jump to a specific section. If you have questions on something we don't cover in the video, please drop us those questions in the comments down below. We do our best to answer all of those. And if you like this video, please give us that thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. It really does go a long way to helping the channel. So with that said, let's get started. First, let's compare the similarities and differences in the design of the V10 versus the V11. In the US, the Dyson V10 is available in absolute, animal, and motorhead versions, while the Dyson V11 is available in torque drive and animal versions. Other country models may vary in names, accessories, and availability, but the functionality will be the same. The design of both the Dyson V10 and V11 are similar. They use a similar extension wand, dustbin, multi-surface cleaning head, and HEPA filter. The Dyson V10 and Dyson V11 are two-in-one vacuums. You can use the vacuum as a full-size cordless stick vacuum or as a portable cordless handheld. Both models use the quick release system to attach and detach tools and accessories. One major update to the V11 that is not included with the V10 is the digital screen. The Dyson V11 adds a digital screen to the back of the V11 motor. The V11 Animal has an LED screen that shows the current cleaning mode and estimated remaining battery life. The torque drive variation has an LCD screen with the same features as the Animal, plus it can play short performance and maintenance videos. Additionally, both versions of the Dyson V11 have an intelligent suction mode. This allows the vacuum to increase or decrease suction based on what the cleaning surface requires. Both the V10 and V11 use Dyson's Cyclone cleaning system for powerful suction. The cyclones on the V10 and V11 are positioned in line with the extension one instead of being perpendicular as in previous models of the V-series vacuum. According to Dyson, this helps increase suction power. As far as size, there's virtually no difference in the sizes of the V10 and V11. Both are about 50 inches long, 10 inches high, and 10 inches wide. The V11 weighs 6.7 pounds, while the V10 is 5.9 pounds. Let's move on to the accessories included with the V10 and the V11. Most of the accessories are the same between the two models, but one major difference is the fluffy cleaning head. The fluffy cleaning head was designed specifically for hardwood floors and does a better job of cleaning those floors as well as capturing large debris types, but it's only included with the V10 Absolute and isn't included with other versions of the V10 or the V11 in the US. The lack of a fluffy cleaning head is arguably the biggest miss on the V11. With so many other great improvements that the V11 brings to the table, it seems a little unusual for Dyson to leave this head out of the package. Both the V10 and V11 include the torque drive cleaning head, which uses a spiral brush roll that is better at agitating carpet fibers, while also being safe for hardwood and other hard surface floors. The Dyson V10 motor head includes the direct drive cleaning head instead of the torque drive. This cleaning head is also included with the Dyson V7 and Dyson V8. It removes 25% less dust and dirt than the torque drive cleaning head, according to Dyson. Here's a quick breakdown of the cleaning heads included with the V10 and V11 variants. The Dyson V10 Absolute includes the torque drive and fluffy cleaning head. The V10 Animal includes the torque drive cleaning head only. The V10 Motor Head includes the direct drive cleaning head only. And both the Dyson V11 Torque Drive and V11 Animal include the torque drive cleaning head only. Both the V10 and V11 operate as a stick or portable handheld vacuum. The conversion between stick to handheld is as easy as pushing one button to detach the wand and snapping on the correct handheld attachment you want. You can even use the motorized cleaning heads without the wand for great suction when cleaning upholstery or car interiors. Both the V10 and V11 come with the extension wand, charger, wall mount, combination tool, crevice tool, and mini motorized brush roll. Additional accessories on various models of the V10 and V11 are the fluffy brush roll, dusting brush, stubborn dirt brush, and more. 
At Modern Castle, we test all vacuums against three different floor types and against four different debris types. Both the Dyson V10 and V11 performed extremely well on all of our cleaning tests. When cleaning hardwood floors, the Dyson V10 and V11 were extremely similar. Both models scored between 98 and 100% on all debris types, making either of these vacuums an excellent choice for vacuuming dry debris of all sizes from hardwood floors. For the low pile carpet test, the V10 captured 99% of all debris types and the V11 got a perfect score at 100%. And on the high pile carpets, cleaning performance for both vacuums was equally impressive as well. Setup and usability on both the V10 and the V11 are easy, however, there are some differences between the two. Both use a trigger control and no power switch. Emptying the dustbin is basically the same on both models, using a point and shoot type of release to empty the dustbin. As we mentioned, the V11 has the added advantage of the digital screen on the back of the motor, which provides details about cleaning mode, remaining runtime, and maintenance and performance videos. Both vacuums are highly maneuverable and are easy to squeeze under low furniture, around corners, and in hard to reach areas. Both the V10 and V11 have a runtime of about 60 minutes. Runtime may be less depending on cleaning mode, attachment, and floor type, and this is one area where we see a notable difference between the V10 and V11. The V11 includes intelligent suction control, so it will automatically adjust suction as it changes flooring types, meaning that you'll never use more suction power or battery power than what is needed to clean a certain mess. That fact, combined with the estimated battery time remaining on the screen, will help you manage the battery runtime more efficiently when using the V11. The maintenance costs on both the Dyson V10 and V11 are essentially the same, virtually zero. They both use a lifetime washable HEPA filter that you should wash yourself about once per month. The battery on the V10 is able to last up to 15 years according to James Dyson. While I'm personally not 100% positive that the V10 or V11 battery will last 15 years, Dyson's statements on battery longevity do give me an added level of confidence. So which is the better value, the Dyson V10 or the V11? The Dyson V10 does cost less, but there are more factors to consider depending on what you're looking for. I would recommend the V10 to people who want a lower price with comparable cleaning performance. The V10 performs just about as well as the V11 at a lower price. I would also recommend the V10 to those who are looking for the fluffy cleaning head. The fluffy is great for cleaning hardwood floors, and at this point it is only included with the V10 Absolute. As for the V11, I would recommend the V11 for people who want more technology and aren't afraid to pay extra for it. The digital screen on the V11 is unique to this model and allows users to monitor remaining battery and adjust cleaning modes easily. And I recommend the V11 to those looking for intelligent suction. This feature makes it easy for the V11 to adjust suction power based on floor type, which can help the battery run longer and the vacuum to perform more efficiently. Lastly, the V11 has more raw suction power, so if you do have super thick carpets, the added suction can help handle deep cleaning those better than the V10. Both the Dyson V10 and V11 are well-made stick vacuums that are versatile, powerful, and advanced. Both vacuums are a great value, so I encourage you to check out both vacuums and pick the one that's best for you. Well guys, that is it for this review. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please drop us a note down below. We're always available to help. If you like this video, please give us that thumbs up. It really does go a long way to helping the channel. If you're interested in buying the V10 or the V11, check out those links in the description down below. If you'd like to see more from Modern Castle, definitely get subscribed, check out some of our other videos, or visit us over at moderncastle.com. We've got the full contextual comparison write-up, as well as our standalone reviews on both these vacuums, other guides, tutorials, reviews, and a whole lot more. As always, thank you so much for watching.